Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another... Oh, hang on a second. Another episode of Planet Zoo. Uh, someone can't find an... Oh, hang on. What's, what's happened to him? Oh, no. Yeah, Planet Zoo where there is a mechanic embedded on a sign. That looks painful, sir. Are we, are we alright up there? How did you get up there, love? What's your name, then? Repairman0023. Uh, oh, Faustino Stewart. He, uh, he needs to... Oh, no, look at that. That's terrible. Should we uh, should we hide a bit of that? That looks awful. Yeah, as you can see, the zoo is uh, is just as good as ever. Let's just cut a bit of that grass, because it's showing through the path. How awful. There we go. We'll just, just cut that back. There we go. That's better. Now, he needs uh, a staff room. Why can he not find an accessible staff room? Is it because he's floating in the air? If, can I pick him up? Move. Can he find a staff room now? Yes, I think he can. Right, he's off to find a staff room. That's good. I thought we had one. Have we not got one here? No, that's a research centre. Have we not got a staff room somewhere? Uh, what about if we have a staff room up here? Let's go on, uh, on Facility Bobs. Uh, right, staff facilities. Staff facilities. Now, we'd need a European one, if that's alright with yourself. East Asia... European staff room large. There we go. Look at that. That's going to blend in beautifully if we pop you. Oh, hang on. It's there. Right, so why can't he reach it? Hey, dear. Right, now that that crisis is averted, uh, there's a lot of ostriches that are diseased. There's danger, uh, dangerous stuff happening in some other exhibits. I don't want to deal with that right now because we want to know where our butterflies have gone. Now, we did start in this exhibit where we had a grand total of one butterfly. And I don't know how long they last. And, like, how long they... Had... Oh, right, hang on, this is empty now. So, obviously, the butterflies don't last very long. That is interesting. Right, okay. Um, right, let's go on exhibit trading. And see... Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go with one. Yep. We'll go with all the butterflies. There we go. Right, we're gonna we're gonna go for that. Now it says on the uh, on the old zoo what's it that they can live in uh, in groups of up to ninety on the uh, on the zoopedia, which is quite exciting, really. That that's quite a big group, isn't it? Hang on. Right, what do we? All those butterflies. Put them in here. Twelve of them. Now we'll manage the population. Maximum of them is we'll go with ten. Yep, appeal highest first. Females ten. Hopefully that should. Sound for cash appeal highest first. There we go. Hopefully that that should work. Are they all are they all coming in here now? Oh yeah, they don't drop them off, do they? Right, are they they, they should be in here straight away. Oh yeah, look, there we go. Right, we've found a butterfly. So what we'll do is we'll have these ten first of all. We'll get some research going. Oh, what this now? Transport rides, yep. Right, vet research. Let's have a cloudless sulphur. Bit of research on that, please. How are we how are we doing? I mean, how can you tell whether the butterfly's happy or not? You can't ask it, can you? We've got these things here. Seems happy enough. I can't see any of the others. There doesn't appear to be anyone flying round. There's nobody on there. Oh, there's one chap there. Lovely. Couple over here. Look, yeah, there's a little yellow blob there and a little blob there. That's excellent. Right, okay. So, animals five. How's there only five in here? I, I thought we... Didn't I buy a load? They can't have all died, surely. Well, people seem to... Oh, hang on, what's this? Expecting offspring. Good. Right. They seem to be alive. What happened to the rest of them? Oh, hang on. Oh, now there's flipping hundreds of them. There's eight of them now. There's a lot of males. Not a lot of females. Animals 13. Oh, right, okay. I mean, they just seem to keep multiplying. Right. I'll tell you what, animal trading... Not that one. Exhibit trading. Right, so we've got cloudless sulfurs. What else can we have? Have we got any other sort of nice 
flutter by we can have. Uh, let's have a look. Ooh, bats. Right, European peacock. I quite like that, so we'll have a few of them. Three, yeah, lovely. Get them all. We want them all. List expired. Yes, lovely. Right, get rid of the snake. Yep, just, just sell that. Yes, sell that one as well. Right, get them. Send them in here as well. European Peacock. Right, manage. European Peacock, right. Ten of them. And ten of you as well. We want plenty of butterflies with lots for people to see. Right, look at that. Everyone wants to be in here now. That's good. That's good stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. They're happy. They're chilled out together. It's good. Right. Dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. Where? Here. But these are our, uh, these are our whatchamacallits. Eurasian lynx. Oh, yeah, them. I've forgotten about them. What's that? So that's an outsider. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll... Right, uh, right, send animal to storage in the trade center. There we go. Right, they're not fighting anymore. Uh, right, trade history. Oh no, not trade history. Right, animal storage. Yeah, we'll, we'll release you to the wild. No, we won't. We'll trade you. That's much better. Now, animal market. Eurasian lynx. If we can get another lady lynx to go in here. That one, there we go. Right, Lady Lynx. Oh, what's this? What's happening? What's what's that? Oh, no, now they've gone. Right, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Right, Eurasian Lynx, Lady Lynx. Dopped her and put her in there. Hopefully, Anton will, uh, will, will give this new Lady Lynx uh, a, a cub. And then they can uh, they can have babies and, uh, and whatnot. Oh no, right, the bongos all have low welfare. They're not happy about the snow, I imagine. Yes, they're, they're cold and unhappy. Right, okay. Uh, facilities. This is a full-time occupation, just taking care of this lot. Uh, right, hang on, it's not in there, is it? It's in habitat. Heaters and coolers. Heaters, there we go. Yeah. Don't panic, bongos. Yeah, this is in the uh, in the African section of our uh, our zoo, and yet they are very snowy. There we go. Look at that. Much happier. Are we are we happier now? You can guarantee one of them will lie down in that tiny patch of snow, won't you? Are you happy? Related to the alpha in matrilineal species. Hmm. Okay. It's not happy about the lack of. Uh, right, hang on. What's what's going on over here? Oh, I didn't realise we got any more rhinos. What's? For goodness' sake. Right. Gender ratio outsider. Right. We'll get rid of you. Yep. Send to storage. You're up the duff. Oh, good lord. It's enough to give you an headache. All this, isn't it? Right. Get rid of you. Yep. Right, power source needs some repair, and if we can just nip over there to our earliest convenience, yeah, get that done. New world theme, lovely. Right, so if we've unlocked that cloudless sulphur, does that mean we can make the butterfly exhibit look a bit better? Oh, we've got 20 of these chaps in, and chapettes. European key. Right, okay. The, we seem to have quite a few butterflies now. Oh, what now? Eurasian lynxes are all fighting due to overcrowding. They can't be. There isn't any. Like, literally, there's... What are you kicking off at? Outsider. Right. What on earth's going on? 
How on earth are we overcrowded? We're not overcrowded. There's three of you in a big space. There's... <clears throat> Excuse me. What if I put you some enrichment in? Would that be better? I mean, of course it's not going to be better, but we'll, we'll do it anyway. Right, habitat. Uh, enrichment items. Let's have a look for the, uh, the firm favourite of the Eurasian Lynx. Where are you? Let's have a rotary washing line feeder doodle. For one of them. Bit of a tree over here. Oh, lovely. Look at that tree. How nice. What about one of these prey scented stick doodars? I mean, they should be happy now. Are they going to all stop fighting if they've got something to do? I mean, this one seems to be, you know, to say you're an outsider, this one's getting on with you. Olga is uh, is happy. Hang on, Olga's happy. She's about to die, for goodness sake. Oh, right, Olga's dead. Right, well, you're not an outsider anymore, so crack on. Oh, God. This maintaining a zoo is like a full-time occupation, isn't it? Right, hang on. Faustino Stewart, you were the one that got stuck in a tree, weren't you? Or stuck on a board, right? You can... Oh, God. Oh, it makes you want to bray your head on a wall, doesn't it? Like I say. So, you're good. The butterflies appear to be popular again, because there's butterflies in here. How do we... Uh, how do we... Can we make this better now? No, we need to research level two. And then they'll be happier. Right, let's let's go back into the butterfly place. Let's just release a scorpion into the gift shop. Right, that got got that. Bats, yeah, fire salamanders, cockroaches, everything else. Oh, I love the frog there. Right. Oh hang on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right, exhibit trading. Menelaus Blue Morpho, right, yeah. This is becoming hard work, yeah. There we go, that's better. Right, go here, get breeding, the lot of you. If I go back in exhibit trading, oh, we can have you as well. You can go in there. Right, hang on. A monarch butterfly. Right, we've not got any of you, any of you even. Oh no, another penguin's about to die of old age. Right, hang on, what we need to do, I realise uh, I've am i got the management turned on, haven't I? Right, many laos blue. Ten of each, there we go, ten. I hope it's not just sold all the ones I've currently got. That would be, uh, that would be annoying, to say the least. Right, okay. That there, and then what's the, what's the last one we need? Olu, blue, Olu World Swallowtail. Right. What is it? We'll just go with butterfly. Animal market. I'm in, not in the exhibit. There we go. Right. Butterfly. Old world swallowtail. That's the one. Oh, we haven't got any of them. That's because I'm looking under there. Old world swallowtail. There we go. Right. Now, you three. I want you in my zoo. Now behave yourselves, a lot of you. What have we unlocked? We've unlocked a bit of vet research. Come on, another butterfly. Yes, another butterfly. Right. We 
can have a bit of bit of this. Ooh, look, they're gonna love that. Bit of tree. It is busy in there. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very busy. I'm loving the uh, the palm tree that we put down that have fallen over again. Right, let's just duplicate that and put another one of these by the butterflies. Yeah, you see, get your hand in your pocket. I mean, to be fair, since the butterflies have opened up again, we seem to have more coming up here. Let's have a look and see if we can get another exhibit. I want something a little bit, you know, a little bit saucy, a little bit, you know, something that will attract a lot of people. Why don't we just, yeah, there we go, appeal. What is the most appealing? Okay, so clearly a panda. Which actually, now I think about it, we could do with a couple of pandas. There we go, because I don't think... I don't think we've got any pandas in there at the moment. You can go... Oh, no, hang on. Don't put him in the zoo, for goodness sake. You've just... He can be released to the wild. There we go. We can have another 13 leaves. What's this chap, then? A Bornean orangutan. Californian sea lion. There's the seal... Sea lion. No, oh, who's died now, for goodness sake? Yeah, you see, we've got the European section round here, but nobody seems particularly, like, bother... Nobody seems particularly European, do they? Which is a bit of a worry. Bengal tiger. See, I can't remember what we've got in our zoo and what we haven't. Right, let's have a look. Zoo. Animals. We could do with a Bengal tiger. We haven't got one, so what we'll do... Hmm. We could have a huge Bengal tiger tiger round here. I mean, it, it does sort of go away from the theme inside of it, doesn't it? But I think that might look quite good. Can you can you have a you can have a curved electric fence? There we go. Right, there we go. We'll bring that round. And what I'll do is I'll keep that like that so we can have a maintenance rub between the two. There we go. Yeah, keep that like it is. We'll move that down to ten. Yep, get that in there. Right, now a straight section. Maybe a curved section again. There, lovely. I always say, like, when I have one of these curved sections, I'll do something with it. And then I never do. Like, like there. Oh, no, five is a bit, a bit short. Like there, I always say, oh, I'll, I'll get like a nice little garden made. Something like that, that the guests would enjoy. Right, back to being straight, thank you. There we go. Right, how on earth are we going to power this now? So, I mean, this is all powered. Hang on, does it have to be powered or does it does it work like if you hang on, where's the where's the heat maps? 
It must go round in a circuit. Well, it just must do. Right, what I'll do is I'll have a uh, nice little... Right, we'll go, we'll go for the path. No, no, it doesn't need to be that wide, does it? There we go, right, a bit, bit of down here. Right, there we go, bit of five, lovely, look at that. Can we, can we do a bit of, nope. Ah, that's what we want. Right, bit of three. We can actually tuck that round the back there, can't we? Lovely, look at that. Beautiful maintenance road there. And it means that staff can just nip between the two a little bit quicker. May as well have that going up there as well. Right, let's have a, a habitat door. Not just a... Oh, it's a barrier, isn't it? There we go. Right, glass habitat gate. And then what we'll do... Do we have like a... Hang on, we're, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there. Right, a European uh, keeper's hut. New World Toilet. Okay. European, that's European. Keep us up to shop stall. European restaurant. Oh no, this is a guest facility. No, we want staff facilities. There we go. That's where we're going wrong, people. Quarantine keeper hut. There we go. Right, let's have a bit more of the old, uh, right, bit of that. We have a couple more keepers hired. Oh, hang on, what's this? Vet research. A bit more butterfly. Lovely. Right, now that we've done that, our, uh, our Bengal tiger will have gone. Of course it has. Of course it has. Well, this isn't too far from the cold area. What about a polar bear? No, don't be silly. Um. right, okay. I don't think that's big enough for an elephant. I really don't. What about an ammer, an ammer leopard? Uh, right, ammer leopard. Have we got a few? No, we've got one. Right, okay. Let's just bung you in there. What's the worst that could happen? Not particularly European, but uh, hey ho. Right, vet research. Where's my ammo leopard? No, it's not there yet. That's flipping annoying, isn't it? Right. Yeah, you all just keep researching. That's good. That's good news. Right, where's this new leopard thing? The Amu Leopard, where are you? Well, tell you what we'll do. First of all, what do you like? Uh, um, Amu Leopard. Uh, right, okay. So it's found between the Russian Far East and China. It likes to be between minus 15 and 31. Okay, the climb proof fence has to be three meters tall. Oh no, right. Wait, right, just just carry on round there, lovely. We could do with like some signs, do not touch the electric fence, you will get blown across the room. 
Where's the where's the dude? Oh, hang on, there's two of them. Wow, look at that! Right, animal storage. Get them all in. Come on, where's my leopard? Oh, here it is. Aha! A leopard. Right, you won't be happy. Oh, it's injured, for God's sake. What a nightmare. Right. Here we go. And leopard. Right, there we go. We've got a cute picture of a leopard. <clears throat> so, what are you not happy about? Right, well, for starters, you're not happy about the fact that there's not enough short grass. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll get a, a size and an intensity. There we go. Ooh, look at all that short grass, leopard. Right, bit of soil. You see, what we'll do is we'll go for a soil around here, because this is the most soily of areas, isn't it? So the, the leopard doesn't seem to actually mind what it is that it has. It just doesn't want long grass. Bit of rock. What about a bit of smooth rock around there? Look at that. Now that is blatantly a repeating texture. And you know how I feel about repeating textures. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're just going to intensity size, just about a uh, fifty percent intensity, I think. Just just liven that up a bit there. Oh no, there's an alpine ibex about to die of old age for goodness sake. So when you zoom in, that will hopefully. Let's go with the intensity up a bit. Ah, oh, look at that, brilliant. Hopefully it just sort of. Just evens that up a bit. Bit of, you know, a bit of multi-style rock. Just to, just to make it look a little bit less like a repeating. I mean, you can still sort of see it, but it's, yeah, it's not the worst. Bit of heavy soil just dotted about like that. I mean, it just sort of looks like I blobbed it on, doesn't it? Navigable climbing area. Right, hang on. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Enrichment. Oh, I don't know anything about these animals. Oh, no. Right, you need a vet. God, there's a lot of dying, isn't there? The ammo leopards are all broken. I appear to have bought a lot of dud ones, for goodness sake. Right, that butterfly is researched. Right, vet. Cowpox virus, for goodness sake. Right. Um, let's research a bit of that. Partial to a bit of cowpox. Hopefully not in my fleet of uh, animals. Right. Uh, habitat. Let's have a look. So we need the uh, the Amur Amur leopard. Amur. I'm gonna go with that. Right. So a bit of that. Pop a couple of little sticks around. Bit of scratching post. Lovely. Perfectly flat. This. Uh, right. There we go. Look at that. A couple of little things for them to keep cool. About a, uh, a scratching tree. There we go. A couple more where that came from. I wonder if we're happy now. Food enrichment. Right. Block of frozen fish. We'll have a couple of you. A couple of blood pumpkins. I mean, this is just banging them in any old hour, isn't it? But they've got plenty of toys. Is the uh, is the point I'm trying to make there? There we go. This is the worst looking habitat I have ever made. Right, there it is. Oh, it's incubating the cow cowpox virus. How very good of you. I mean, it seems to be happy enough. 
that just needs a bit of climbing space. So we'll pick that up next time. If you have any fantastic suggestions for our zoo, other than make this better because it looks hideous, uh, then please do, of course, let me know in the comments section. I'd be, uh, I'd be very pleased to hear that. Uh, do, of course, uh, click the like button if you've enjoyed today's video. And uh, why not consider subscribing if you want to keep up with the series? It's the best way uh, to make sure that you never miss out. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.